difference. I mean, you, I mean, if you, is that not a disorientation? I mean, because I mean, a lot of stories I've read of crashes mm -hmm. at night, especially yeah. pilots lost their sense. They had to operate on either were not very good at reading instruments and lost their sense of orientation and were going down. In fact, when they thought they were pulling up, that kind of thing. So aviation aside, for you and for me in any situation or a challenge or for a crisis, maintaining your point of reference means that when you get on an airplane, know that your primary exit is four rows away. So if you get banged in the head or you get thrown upside down when the plane hits the ground, you can find your way with your hands four rows even in thick smoke. Maintaining your point of reference also means if you lose your job, it means facing the facts of losing your job, dealing with the facts of losing your job, and not going and retreating to a place of total uh, confusion and stupor. What do you want people to get out of this? I mean, essentially, uh, that if in fact you plan and think and, and are aware and have the right mental attitude, your chances of surviving are in fact enhanced. Exactly. I, I want people to know that after talking to survivors and experts around the world, there is... This is WSRE Television, Pensacola, Florida, ending another day of broadcast activity. Tonight marks the last time these words will be heard on WSRE. It's the end of an era, the era of analog television broadcasting. From this point forward, the sun will never set on our signal. WSRE will broadcast digitally 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in four different streams of programming. WSRE-TV operates on UHF channel 23 with a frequency of 524 to 530 megahertz and an effective radiated power of 302 megawatts visual and 603 kilowatts aural, as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. Evening sign-offs and morning sign-ons were a feature of the television landscape for decades. Stations were required by the FCC to provide certain technical information, but many chose to close their broadcast day with scenic views of their coverage area or the playing of the national anthem. At the conclusion of the sign-off, viewers became familiar with a variety of test patterns and color bars. From its black and white inception in 1967, change has been a constant at WSRE. As the analog age ends, we would like to take this opportunity to thank our viewers, our members, and our staff for their commitment to quality public television. On the web and with four programming streams, we look forward to continuing to serve the Gulf Coast community in the digital age. And now, for the last time in analog, we wish all of you a very pleasant evening.